189 recruiters have approached me with job offerings ever since I made a couple of changes to my LinkedIn profile. Yes, I counted them all. You see, ever since I attended this LinkedIn workshop a couple of years ago, I learned about these LinkedIn profile hacks you can use to make recruiters approach you with job offerings instead of having to look for jobs yourself. And I've always been hesitant to share these tips as I was afraid other people might compete for the same job as me. And apart from a couple of good friends, I've never shared these tips with anyone before. In this video, I wanna share the top five LinkedIn profile tips you can use to significantly raise the chances of landing a data analyst job or any tech job for that matter, because anyone can use these tips actually. Let's get into it. Tip number one optimize your header for keywords. LinkedIn is not just replacing your classical resume, it's also a job platform. You can literally search and apply for jobs through LinkedIn. And the amount of times I've used this to get a job is zero. And the reason for this is that I've optimized my LinkedIn profile to become searchable and findable for recruiters through the right keywords. I'm a data analyst and looking for data analyst jobs. Recruiters look for data analysts to fulfill data analyst positions. So you might want to include the keyword data analyst somewhere in your profile. And the single most important place where you can do this is in the header right below your name. Funny enough, I see a lot of people on LinkedIn having enabled the option that LinkedIn fills out the header for you automatically based on your current job position. So you see vague keywords like performance manager at Spotify or business consultant at company X. It might sound really cool, but I have no idea what this guy can do. I have no idea what he's good at, what skills he has, what tools he's good at. And I highly doubt these recruiters will search for something as general as a performance manager or business consultant. They like to search for specific terms and it's up to you to add those specific terms in your profile. So first enable the option to fill out your header yourself instead of li having LinkedIn do this for you. Think of all the possible keywords recruiters might use to find you and think of all the keywords that actually describe what you do. And this is also an advantage of filling out the header yourself. You get to use more keywords than just the one position that LinkedIn uses automatically to fill out your header, meaning more keywords that recruiters might use to find you and your profile. I'm a data analyst with experience in SQL, Python and Power BI. So I'm definitely gonna include the term data analyst. But since I also build dashboards, I'm gonna include the term business intelligence specialist. I'm also including the term data scientist, not just because I've done some data scientist projects, but mostly because companies tend to give their own names to certain job roles. So they might call something a data analyst while the job description actually fits a data scientist better and vice versa. So although there is an overlap between data scientists, data analysts, business analysts, whatever, there is a key difference here. But I just realized and learned that companies don't always know these differences. So that's why I decided to include all of them just to be searchable for all potential relevant job openings. Tip number two, optimize your bio. So next up is to update your bio slash description. This is basically where you describe who you are and what you do in a maximum of about four or five sentences. And again, very important, this is where you wanna repeat the same keywords you've used in your header as well. LinkedIn is a search engine and you wanna optimize your profile for this search engine. Now, in your bio, next to the keywords that you've repeated, you also want to include some more specific keywords that you just couldn't put in your header. Because here's the thing, recruiters don't usually search for just the term data analyst when they're looking for a data analyst. They usually search for something more specific like data analyst plus Python, data scientist plus R. So if you wanna be found on LinkedIn, you have to mention these specific keywords as well. Next to this in the bio, you also want to include some contact details like your phone number and email so that recruiters can actually contact you. And at the start of the description, I want you to reserve a little space for this neat little trick that I'll show you later in the video. First tip number three, optimize job titles and previous work experience. Want to know the name of my first job? According to the company I was working at back then, it was called Performance Analyst. Cool, so I used that in my LinkedIn profile for a very long time. But then I learned that that was not a common term to describe what I was actually doing, building dashboards and reports. I was a business intelligence specialist. So I changed the job title from Performance Analyst to Business Intelligence Specialist. And that's the thing with LinkedIn, it's your profile. You don't have to copy the name the company gives your job role, you can use any term you want to describe your job role. So instead of using all these fancy or vague terms describing what you actually do, go ahead and cha change all your job titles and previous work experience to more common terms that describe what you're actually doing. 
Oh, and again, in the job titles, use general keywords. And in the job description, in the work experience, try to mention the specific keywords. Or better yet, make a story. Write down what your responsibilities are, your tasks. Maybe write down the top three biggest projects you've worked on or the top three biggest results you've achieved. This is a great way to put in some more skills, tools, specific keywords, but it also shows the recruiters what it is you're actually doing and raising the chances of approaching you if they have a match. Bonus tip, add every single certification, diploma or course you might have done to your profile as recruiters sometimes search for specific certification. Plus, it's another great way to sneak in a couple of keywords in there. Tip number four, make your profile open for international opportunities. And what I mean by this is if you speak more than one language, if you live in a different country, or in general, if you're open to job offerings from all around the world, then you want to have multiple versions of your LinkedIn profile, each version with its different language. I'm Dutch and my LinkedIn profile is in Dutch, but most of the recruiters that approach me are English speaking and land on my English speaking profile. It's basically an exact copy of my Dutch profile, but just translated to English. And here's how to do it. Go to your profile and on the right hand side, you will see a button that says add profile in another language. And that's it. By adding a profile in another language, you're significantly expanding the reach for recruiters to find you. Oh, and by the way, you know, I told you to reserve a little space at the start of your description. Well, this is where you mention the fact that you have a LinkedIn profile in another language available. And I obviously do it in the language of that other profile. So on my Dutch page, I have a couple of sentences in English for English speaking recruiters stating that there's also an English profile. And then last but not least, tip number five, make your profile personal. Recruiters are people. I know, mind blown. And like most people, they tend to favor someone they know over someone they don't know. So if you make your profile personal, you can create a connection with your recruiter when they're scanning your profile without you even knowing them. Meaning they might favor you over someone else with similar work experience. And the way to make your profile personal is by adding a profile picture that's professional looking and where you're preferably looking at the camera and smiling a little bit. This makes you seem a bit more approachable. You can also add a personal banner, a photo of you doing something, maybe your hobby or socializing with people. Trust me, this works way better than using some cool wallpaper that might be very stylish and fits your LinkedIn profile. But if it doesn't include you doing something, making it a bit personal, recruiters will not have that connection with you. So trust me, make it personal, use a banner that portrays your persona. For example, I added this photo to my banner where I'm doing something else than data analysis. It, this might spark some interest or curiosity with the recruiters looking at your profile. I also added the fact that I have a scuba certificate, an open water paddy, because why not? It's interesting, it makes me human, and you might have some common ground if the recruiter is a scuba diver himself as well. These five tweaks to my profile helped me land my first high paying job, my first freelance job, and in a sense it helped me quit my data analysis job to build my own business based around creative expression, my YouTube channel. On this channel I'm sharing every single lesson along this journey of building the life I want. Now if you think that might be valuable to you then definitely stick around on my channel or check out my Instagram. Hope you found the video valuable and I'll see you in the next one. Kiss. As I said, and I highly doubt recruiters will look for general because they're English speaking recruiters. I have trouble talking to the camera. I'm not an English speaking recruiter.